Hey YouTube, it's been a while, uh, and welcome uh, PSA World. It's been a while, we got a PSA order. I got another one coming in this week. I ordered them about, I say about two weeks apart, and now I'm gonna reveal them. I, th I forget if this was the comics or the sports uh, submission, but uh, let's check it out. So I believe this was the 18 or no, so either the 22 or the 18 dollar. Um, let's see, it's a very special 1996 to present. Uh, full quantity of four. It was sent in. It was entered 9122. So this is pretty quick turnaround. Um, and we will check it out here. All right, cool. So hope you guys are doing well. I heard the prices are getting. A little easier and a lot of uh, I'm actually looking to consider some Beckett stuff since now they have the $22 uh, submissions with the with the different uh, you know like space like uh, centering they'll be able to add those uh, subgrades uh, to the $22 so I have some cards that I'm interested in doing that with you know what this is the baseball uh, sports uh, it's not the marvel uh metal that i sent in so this is gonna be fun all right so got david parker david parker and this is a 2014 i think this is an autograph um a archives kind of uh card so let's check it out we got a nine all right i bought this online I really like and respect David Parker. Should be a Hall of Famer. I think he was an MVP three, two or three times in his career. He was the Cobra. And um, I saw this card. I loved it. I lo always loved those type of pirate hats. It, it, it is archives. 2014 tops archives. Dave Parker fan favorite autographs. We got a nine. And uh, really, really nice. I like the fact that the case is not doesn't have those streaks on it. So it could be easier to sell if I ever decide to sell it. But beautiful card. Uh, obviously, I would like a 10, but a mint is good. Really nice. Uh, Tristan McKenzie. I think I said a lot of the a uh, lot of these uh, in this order. So this is the first one. And we got a nine. And this is a 2015 Bowman Draft Tristan McKenzie Chrome Refractor. Uh, it's a Bowman first, and uh, I bought this online. I bought this one online also, and we got a 10. All right, awesome. So one for two so far on the McKenzie. Sweet, sweet. All right, let's see. Let's see if we go. Oh, okay, we got a nine, same card. These will be in my store, my eBay store. So you're welcome to check it out. Send me some offers. It came close to uh, making it past the Yankees, I believe it was. The Yankees had to play them. Here's Tristan McKenzie and a 10. All right, so two for four, man. That is awesome. Really good pitcher. He's thin. Reminds me of Pedro Martinez. Not that great yet. But just the fact that I think he's going to last for a long time as a pitcher uh, with throwing with his, his body type. Maybe wrong, but from what I see, I think he will be. And um, I just think he's going to grow more and more. I think he's going to shoot for a contract. 97 uh, was the year that he was born. So it was very young. Very nice. Very satisfied with that. I did not think I was going to get any 10s because that got those offline. Uh, this is Carlos Rendon. I actually pulled this out of a pack. And I think this is a serial numbered card. No, it's a... So, oh, man. That would have been a sweet 10. So this is a 2015 uh, Bowman Prospects Carlos Rendon. Uh, Mint 9. BP 150. It's a Bowman first. It looks sweet with his uniform. But we got a 9. Those are always tough to get, those... Uh, the ones with the foil on it. 
Uh, oh, Jazz Chisholm. This is just a regular base card of Jazz. I believe I bought this off um, online. I think I did. I did buy these online. Uh, this online. We got a nine. Oh, that's disappointing. Uh, maybe the centering. Maybe a little bit to the right from what I see here on the edge. I have a lot of these cards, uh, a lot of autographed and refractors, so it's okay. That'll be in my store. Jazz, I believe, is a star. I, I know he's got the bag problem, but you never know. All right, Zach Grinky. I bought a lot of these also online, and this was the best one that came back, so I'm hoping for this Bowman draft pick. Uh, number six of Zach Grinky is at least a nine. Oh, that's crazy. A six. Yeah, they're, they're, man. It's not the six. Uh, it's not the kind of card I wanted for uh, a Zach Grinky, especially if the other ones were not as good. Oh man, the centering looks good. Maybe top to bottom. I don't know, guys. This 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 card looks really good. What do they want me to break it, sell it, and then they get pick it up and put a nine on it? That's pretty strange. I, I don't I don't like the fact that they gave me a six on this. I don't see anything where this should be a nine a, a six. Wow. All right, that's a uh, that's a loss there. Oh, these are good, good cool, really cool cards. Um. Steven Nash Crusade, and this is a gold crusade. It's a 2015 16 Panini Excalibur basketball set. This is beautiful cards. This is before the big uh, hype of baseball cards and then and just trading cards all together. Um, I do see somewhat of a scratch. Maybe it's the case. <laughs> and it's not the case. Wow. I mean, it's, it is the case. It is the case. Wow, what a beautiful card, guys. I don't know if there's any Steve Nash fans out there, but uh, this is pretty sweet. This is a home run, hands down. I had this for a while, too. Pulled this out of a pack. So 2015 Panini Excalibur. That's when I started collecting again. Oh, man, that is gold right there. Nice. Even if just for my personal collection. Miles Bridges, I believe this is a red and white prism. It is red, white, and blue, and it's a 10. Miles Bridges. And this one I pulled out of a pack. 2018 Panini Prism. I heard these are really in short print. Um, now, as far as how many there are, I don't know yet. I'd have to check uh, PSA. Uh, to see how many there are tens of these uh, mile bridges, red and white, blue prism, 2018. So Gem Mint, nice. Two back-to-back -back hits right there. This one I bought offline. I don't think I'm going to get a 10. I think it's more of a 8.59. They got a 9. On, online, um, when I bought this, we were at the highest point where training cards just exaggeration on the prices so i definitely will take a loss on this one um but cool card you never know future hall of famer if he continues uh, to have a great season uh he is in cleveland now i think he's in cleveland uh yeah i think so i wanted him to come to the next but uh that didn't happen so donovan mitchell nine Optic. John Morant, hot player. Still starting off the NBA season right now, hot. It's a prism. I don't know what color it is, but... Oh, nice. That is awesome. That is awesome. And this is the 2019 Panini Prism Draft Picks John Morant Pink Pulsar Prism. Number two. And it's a Gem Min 10. That's awesome. Really good pull there. All right, so 
Uh, I sent these out. Uh, these are the Sports Illustrated for Kids cards. Uh, in the past, I cut them with a scissor, and I learned that I don't do that. Uh, you'll come back with no grade at all. Uh, so this one I tore off. I think the centering is off. I don't know how uh, PSA grades this with uh, because it's just it's just the way the cards are made. They're not really not going to get a, a perfect centering on it unless there's some kind of misprint. But again, the, you know that's probably going to be worth a lot. Um, so I uh, hand tore this off. Uh, obviously, there's four sides. I had to tear it off, which is very hard. Uh, I'm hoping for a nine. Let's see what we got. A seven. Okay. Still a sweet card of LeBron James in his Cleveland jersey. Where you want a title. Very few Cleveland titles out there. Sweet card. Uh, you see, If you see the off-centering, it is a little off-centered, left to right. Uh, top to bottom, a uh, little bit off-centered, but it's a really nice card. Uh, I, I'm just testing PSA to see how they they grade these. Uh, let's see the size of the card. You can tell it is a little, it is the same same size, but the way they set this up, it's not the same case. That's interesting. This one is more snug, and this one's looser. That's interesting. I just noticed that. It's not moving around, I don't think. No, it's not moving around. All right, so that's disappointing. I was hoping for a 9. I once I got a Griffey 10 on this and uh, Barry Sanders in the past. Uh, but they weren't off-centered like this. Anyway. Uh, oh, okay, same set. Uh, you can see I didn't tear as well as... Of LeBron James. So this is probably going to be a four. Ah, whoa. <laughs> that should be a grader, right? Oh, man. Uh, same case. It's not snug. Uh, yeah, I, I just, it's hard. It's hard to get a good tear off of them. Uh, these are, you know what? The, the first ones that came out, uh, the, first, the first Sport Illustrated for Kids, I'm talking maybe 87, 88, I forget the year. They were a lot easier to tear off. These were a lot harder to tear off the uh, the page. Uh, so, Tom Brady 4. I'm sure there's not a lot of them out there. Curious what the pop is on this. With 4, I probably could see a lot of uh, a lot of different cards. Uh, different grades, higher or higher. But, alright. Those are still fun cards. Let's see them back together. Pretty cool. I, I don't know. I always like the Sports Illustrated cards. Just because they were different. All right. Russell Wilson. <laughs> it came uh, two weeks late, right? Maybe three. Three weeks late. Um, and we got a nine. I bought this uh, online, this card. I had one of ten and I had sold it. So I made a profit on that back in the day. Back in the day, a couple years ago when it was hot. And uh, so we got a nine for the 2012 Panini score. Russell Wilson passing, number 372, a mint nine. Nine is better than anything lower, obviously. So put that over there. Still not 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 upset about this. I, it's some cards that I really liked that became that were 10. Uh, Javante Williams, rookie. I can't believe this came in so fast but not fast enough I, I don't know if he's out for his career what kind of injury it is um man i mean that's a, i think this is a sweet card too and it's a 10 wow he was really starting to get going too 2021 panini playbook javante williams mosaic number 10 this i pulled out of a pack it is a sweet card, and its color um, combines with the color of his uniform. Wow, I hope he gets healthy. Got to check up on him, what happened. All right, so I sent a lot of Shoei at Otani. Obviously, they're not in the playoffs anymore. I was hoping they would make it 
when I sent these in. Uh, but he's just been amazing. I've been holding on to these for a while. I, I just wasn't going to grade him until I saw exactly. Because, you know, he had a rough spell. Uh, first few years, injuries, and what is he going to do, et cetera, et cetera. So finally now he's a hot topic. He's on the MLB The Show cover. Um, so it was time to to bring these out and grade them. So this is a fire. It's probably going to be a base 2018 fire and got a nine. All right. Uh, there is a little bit of issues with the edge, like a little white. But other than that, it's a beautiful card of Shohei Itani. And it's 2018, tops fire, number 50. And we got a mint nine. All right, we got another Otani. And this is another fire. And I think this is a, a blue foil. It is, and we got another nine. Uh, tops, 2018, tops fire. Shohei Otani, hot stars, blue chip card. Mid nine. I'm curious what the pop is on this. I don't know if there's. This is an 18, so it, we didn't have the boom yet with the cards. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't expect it to get a 10 with it being a foil, but it's a nice rookie card, Otani. I like the blue foil. The same card, I believe. So I'm hoping one for 10. One for two? Yes, we got a 10. Oh man, this is awesome. Going for two. Good stuff. Good stuff. I wonder what this is going to be. What is this listed as right now? If there are, I don't, I don't know what the pop is. Really cool flare. Shine, I should say, not flare. All right, Noah Syndergaard. He's come back and done well. This is a serial numbered card of nine nine nine. And this is from the 2015 Topps Heritage. Uh, this is when I started collecting. And I pulled this out of a pack. Oh my goodness. We got a 10. Man, I think he's still pitching strong, right? He had a good season. Wow, this is a good hit right here. Beautiful card. The case is not messed up. Nice job, PSA, for not messing up the case. We got a PSA 10 on that. Tremendous. And that's a chrome card, so it's serial number. We'll go to the next box. So far, I'm very happy with, um, with the return, the PSA return. Some 10s that I really was hoping for uh, out of the box. The only thing I'm not happy with is... <laughs> couple of the football players are out or stink right now so I'm gonna have to maybe hold for a while to see them come back but mainly this 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 submission was Otani so you see another one Otani here and this is the 2018 Panini Donruss Optic Baseball I was collecting these and I was like okay Otani I'm gonna keep holding like I told you before these are prisms, optic, optic prisms that um, have variations. Um, not, I may have thrown some parallels in there, but, but this is a variation of the same numbered card, I believe. Uh, this is number 56, Oshohei Otani, 2018 Panini. Oh, man, that's awesome. 2018 Panini Donruss Optic Shohei Otani running and it's a purple parallel number 10 number 56 and it's a gem mint 10 tremendous tremendous there's a cooler one variation of that hopefully it's in here uh this is another Shohei Otani this is a uh, serial number 99 this is 2019 Heritage I, I think we have good centering. Let's hope for a 10. And we got a 10. Oh, man, it's a rookie. Rookie Cup. Rook, uh, sorry, All-Star Rookie Cup uh, 2018. Perfect, perfect centering. And I got a PSA 10. Pulled that, this out of a pack also. 
DH pitcher. <laughs> really cool. Man, what a hit. Man, that is awesome. Again, I took my best ones. Uh, and if they were serial numbers, I took a gamble on some of them. All right, so it looks like uh, Shohei Otani has stopped right now. I might have some more uh, later on. Uh, this is George Springer. This is 2016 Chrome. A 390 card, and it is a 10. They might be winning the World Series again. Oh, well, oh, he's not there anymore. Sorry. What team did he go to? Oh, my goodness. I forgot. Anyway, Stroh fans will love this. It's a purple. Uh, no serial number. 2016 Tops Heritage, George Springer, Chrome, Purple Refractor. Curious what the pop is on it, but a really nice card. George Springer. Going vintage now. Uh, outfielder Barry Bonds. The greatest hitters of all time. 1999. Uh, I like the card. I like the look of it. Um, and I said, let's let's try it. Let's let's go for it. Maybe I get a nine. And we got a nine. Two, 1999 Bowman's Best, Barry Bonds. Sweet card, right? It's a mint nine. Awesome picture, awesome card in a diamond. Really, really nice card. Well, I thought I was gonna get less than that. Oh, these are the cool. These are cool showdowns. I found these in a thrift thrift store. Uh, they are. Uh, the MLB Showdown, I believe it was the 2000s these came out. And they were like a card game, I believe. Yeah, sports card game. So uh, I don't know who this is. I, uh, some, You know, they do have very, uh, not variations, but they have uh, parallels, foils. So I'm thinking it's a pool holes, but let's see. It is, and we got a nine. Uh, okay. Awesome card, though, guys. Look at that. Uh, 2005 MLB Showdown, Albert Pujols. Uh, this is a foil kind of card for this set. And um, this is, let's see, what's the stats? They don't have a stats there. 2005, okay, so he's got his, like, uh, his, probably his fifth year in the Cardinals uniform, number 311. But we got a 9. Really hoping for a 10 on this. I, I really liked it. Uh, I have more of these that I want to submit, but I wanted to see how this would come out. Don't know what the issue was that I did not get a 10 on this, but it would have been tremendous to have a 10. Uh, man, this is really, really nice card. Um, obviously nowhere could it be at, uh, an eight, but really close to a 10. That's a sweet card. All right. Cedric Mullins. Dude, when I was pulling these cards, I had this guy's going to suck. He's with the Orioles. But I keep thinking, you know what? When those teams suck, that's when players get an opportunity to play. And that's how you get better. Uh, and he has just been a tremendous hitter for the Orioles. And I enjoy watching him play and having him on my fantasy team. Uh, this is an 84 TC4. So I believe this is a um, 1984 uh, style card. And it's got some shine, I believe. Yep, some shine. He got a 10. Nice. I don't know what the pop is on that. I'm, I'm curious. This is the uh, the 2019 Tops Chrome Cedric Mullins 1984 Tops Baseball Gem Mint 10. Sweet card. All right. This is a Will Smith Tops Chrome 2019 number 47. I think this is just a base card of Will Smith. I really like him as a player, and I got a 10. Nice. I really love the fact that these cases don't have that streak. I don't know if you guys are aware of those streaks on the cases. Really, really disappointed that PSA would dare to send something like that to uh, people who pay good money 
uh, that the cases would come out with streaks on it. I mean, just who's, who's like watching this stuff, you know? Um, they have three people look at it, case it up, and they still can't get the case right. But this, these are coming out good. So I'm sure people complained also. It wasn't just me. But that's good. We got a 10 of Will Smith update. This was uh, Max Freed. I think he's pitching really well. Again, one of those pitches I didn't think was going to make anything up, but I kept a card. Uh, and this is a Chrome rookie card and a base. So this is a 10. Nice. 2018 Tops Chrome. Max Freed. Great action picture uh, of his is uh, throwing a two-seamer. Gem Min 10, number 66. Let's keep going, Max. Keep pitching well. And, oh, man. This card I loved. I pulled this out of a USA box 2014 pack. Um, it's a prism, too, man. I am really hoping for a 10 here. This, was, this would make this submission great. Oh, awesome, 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 awesome. 2014 Panini Prism, Max Scherzer, USA Baseball. Tremendous, tremendous card. I had this for a while, and I just kept holding and holding. Nice. Good stuff. Number one. Number one card. Really happy with the submission so far. Uh, Cal Ripken. Uh, so this is a 2017 Tops Update Series 227. And obviously Cal Ripken did not play in 2017. But this is going to be a variation of Cal Ripken. I've failed to get 10s in these. I, th I had a Jackie Robinson variation. I had a, a Lou Gehrig variation. And I'm hoping for a 10 here. And we got a 10. Oh, we, uh, it, you ne people who never watched uh, Kyle Ripken play uh, missed one of the greatest players of all time. Step at shortstop. I saw him live at Yankee Stadium. And he, Yankees uh, always have great players. He, without a doubt, was above and beyond them as as a player. He he just it, it was just you could put a crown and a cape on him because he was just a king out there uh, during the eighties and nineties. So that's great to have a ten of uh, Cal Ripken Jr. Another Max Scherzer. This is a Chrome Refractor. Of the 2017 uh, Tops Chrome, and I forget what this looks like, but he... oh, nice! Oh, we got a nine. Uh, it must have been centering with this card, maybe a dimple somewhere, uh, maybe right there. There's a small dimple, and I see some of the lines across those roll lines. So. All right, so nine of Max Scherzer. Oh, this guy. Well, I'll take a 10 of him because this is his rookie card. Joe Musgrove, who's pitching excellent. I held on to this card for a while, um, and now he's a stud. 2017, he moved on from Houston to San Diego, and uh, right now trying to make the World Series, playing the Phils. Oh, man, come on. It's a Prism Refractor, um, really cool card of Joe Musgrove. Uh, if you hold it in your hand, you, you love it. You would not see it as a just a Gem Mint 9. You would look at it as a PSA 10. Really cool. I don't know if you guys can see the, 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 uh, the glare and the shine. Really cool card. Disappointed about that one. Uh, George Springer, uh, Chrome 19, uh, 2015. Uh, this has to be like a, ref not a refractor, but uh, 
It might just be a base. It might just be a base. Is it? Nope. We got a Prism Refractor. We got a 10. Okay, this is his uh, rookie, all-star rookie cup. Tops rookie cup it is a 2015 Tops Chrome George Springer Prism Refractor number 54. And we got a PSA 10. I've been holding on to this one for a while, too. Another really beautiful card from Tops Chrome with the, sh the shine and the glare. Really cool. Perfect centering. I think that's what got me on the other card of Musgrove. It's been fun. Oh, so bef right before he won the, the home run title, I pulled this one out of the 2022 Panini America. Um, sorry, this is Donruss Baseball. And it's a BS6. Uh, I forget what these car these cards are called. But it's this boom squad, bomb squad, and it's a 10. Beautiful card of, of Aaron Judge. Who, if he becomes a Met or to leave the Yankees, would be the biggest tra travesty. Huge travesty if he leaves the Yankees. I don't like players moving on to different teams. I think they should stay on their own team. But... I'm old-fashioned. 2022 Donruss Aaron Judge Bomb Squad Diamond Chemin 10. Wow. Beautiful card. I have no idea what that pop count is on that. Uh, okay, another Otani. Now we're telling, uh, like I said, oh, we're going to get some Otani. You see how it's a 56? Let me see if I can pull the other Otani here. All right, so this is the 10 we got before. It's a 50, 56 also. I don't think it's the same card. Um, I mean, it's a different variation. No, it's not. It's the same card, and I got a 9. Okay. So the running, this is purple. This one is just running uh, optic, and we got a 9 of Otani. Just running. And we got another one. Another 56. You see? Oh, nice. Hey, we'll take it. Beautiful card, man. Wow. Let me see if you can see it a little better. So this is a 2018 Panini Donruss Optic Shohei Tani batting. This one is running. This is batting. Oh, man, I should sell these in a lot, man. Wow. Really should. The case has something here. I don't know if it's able to be wiped out. But either way, got a PSA 10 on both variations. That is sweet. This one's really cool. This is a really cool card. I don't know who, the, who he's playing there. San Diego, maybe? Or LA? The ones in the background. And what stadium? It look, it's definitely a... It looks like a spring training game, definitely. Really nice cards, guys. Of Otani in purple. Really nice. Disappointed about the nine, but I think we got those two ten. That's good. Another show Shohei Otani, and this is a coming attractions from Tops. I think this is an archive card. That's a CA one card, and we got a ten. Tops, 2000 Tops Archives, yep. Uh, Shohei Itani, 1993 Coming Attractions. We got a 10. Again, these cards I, I, I've had for a while. It's interesting that he, he came out in 2018 where we had the lower prints. Uh, maybe there were more prints of this, but I'm curious of what this, um, the pop count is for this purple tie. You'd think he'd wear a red tie, right, for Angels? Interesting. So we got PSA 10. Very happy about that. Okay, another Shohei Otani. This is a Heritage 2019. So this is where maybe the prints are a little more. Don't know if this is a variation or just a regular um, uh, card that is an insert. Uh, this is American League Rookie of the Year Award. 
got a nine. All right. I like the centering on this. Um, if I crack it, send it again, maybe I get a 10 because I don't see a single thing wrong with this card. The corners are good. Centering is good. Maybe a little top of bottom. But this is a 2019 Topps Heritage Shohei Atani Award winners. Insert card, and it's a mint nine. Okay, another one. But this one is 176 uh, rated rookie. 2018 Donner's Optic. And it's a prism. I don't remember what this looks like. So it's a different number card. So, ah, and it got a nine. Oh, shock. 2018 Panini Donruss Optic. Shoei Tani Shock. This is an awesome card, man. Oh, if this would have been a 10. Not many of these around either, I don't think. Pretty cool. Going up and down. You can see the shock going up and down. PSA 9 on that one. On this one. All right. We got another one of the same card. Maybe it's a purple. Don't think it's going to be a shock. Uh, regular base in 9. Oh, man. Top to bottom, I think, is what killed me from me getting a 10. Not sure why this is not a 10. It's, it's always the foil ones you never know. Something I missed there. This one, it must have been the centering. It's not perfect. It's probably a thousand of these now. Yeah, and I don't think this is a... Um, I don't think it's a variation. I don't see anything there that says it's a variation. Well, that's uh, our submission. Really happy on some cards. I hope you enjoyed them. Uh... They were real. I'm happy that I don't have to worry about sending some of these cases back. Uh, they are perfect cases of of this submission, and uh, very happy. The Otani had some really nice Otani cards. Uh, some rookies. Uh, the Scherzer was amazing. But hit like, uh, subscribe if you like the content. I will have another video of this coming out within a week because I have the Marble Metal coming out. I'm sending another submission this week, two submissions this week uh, at the the cost of $18, $22. But this was $18, so uh, $22. I'm sending them out. And, um, and I think it, well, I'm getting confused now. It was the BSG that was $22. I think it's $22, the next submission I'm sending out. And it's going to be some uh, some athletes, uh, no more Marvel. I'm actually going to with the CGC to send my Marvel cards from now on. I just haven't been successful with PSA with those cards. So I hope to just be able to build a customer base through the CGC with my Marvel cards. Uh, and DC cards. But anyway, um, good night, PSA World and uh, YouTube. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.